I just uh, wanted to show one video just to open the discussion because I myself have much to say. I will not be enough time for telling everything. And it was also said that me, as being host, I should be a catalyst in this uh, communication. We also have something nice, but uh, so. I really would like to show this to you, but just with a logical basis, not to have this, like a contest who is more jokey. But I would like to speak about the role of the logotype uh, or not role. So in when we make country branding, so we are concentrating on this. But now we will have a short video and some pictures afterwards. So, some liked this. So we didn't hope actually, but um, so just to create a mood, and just to so how to really comment. So really enjoy the Estonian story. Uh, I would not say that I admire it fully, but I would like come back. So. So Estonia also invested uh, lots of money in this Welcome to Estonia branding, and it turned out to be bad because something better came, something light, nice, more natural. And uh, in case of Latvian branding, we also have uh, have this uh, the country who it sings. Now we have two logotypes, uh, which are uh, one we have. Uh, Lave Riga, which we know, so everything is in tourism, so nightlife and everything. And another was best enjoyed slowly, so to be slow. And so now it is so, that which I also would like to offer as quality is sign and also identification uh, and not uh, over exaggerating this. Uh, but we really like this, and I also agree to the. Lord Nelson, almost Admiral Nelson, who said that you have to have this involvement in the early stage. We do not have a ready-made product because then we have more critics, uh, criticism. You will not feel uh, co-authors of this. And I also agree that uh, yeah, to the last uh, uh, sentence uh, or the, the, this uh, conclusion that you have to choose or you will try to choose uh, the least evils and it will not be the best as uh, they choose or you will be chosen so uh, uh, those is uh, the presentation is also not working so what should I do now uh, okay here in the airport uh, we uh, are planning a very nice uh, object not like a VIP launch but uh, for entrepreneurs uh, to have a place where not only to buy uh, spirits but uh, also uh, when using the money so 350 square meters territory we would like to make for businesses uh, for businessmen to meet uh, to meet your partners to print your presentations and last minute before the flight so the uh, so uh, for busy people uh, so sort of lia office so place for making networking where we would like to be nice of course, Magnetic Latvia brand, which we used for export for several years, and Eric uh, helped me formulate that he was. It was born uh, similar to uh, Estonians, as our uh, uh, 
Dutch colleagues said that it is uh, rather easy to take because uh, no agency has earned and very many wanted to use this uh, free of charge. But since, uh, so I cannot say that about the uh, Latvian Institute. And uh, I have said, why should we invent something new uh, that we could take uh, existing things and add something, just adding uh, a merging or unifying uh, motto and not a motto will or slogan will emphasize our image uh, and I would also like to agree that this about Estonia and proud uh, this was different from this uh, uh, North East uh, England uh, here we have this uh, game of words and so we cannot be proud about just the letters you can be proud of country or not about the ethics and not about the uh, three letters and this is big difference actually and uh, I will have some more uh, pictures so in the airport we have uh, put much effort quite much effort to this and it will look slightly different here, this magnetic we are really using. We didn't ask to, we didn't have to ask anything. So, um, Lime Lotus uh, Straum, uh, former prime minister, asked uh, why I am using this magnetic Latvia. Said, but we need something um, unifying. It is uh, not for uh, a slogan. So, uh, so we didn't. Uh, spend much uh, money here so this best enjoy slowly actually I really didn't like because everybody said that it is very slow and everything is slow here in Latvia for instance to to go receive a construction permit it, it takes more time than uh, here than in Estonia and we are really uh, perceived as slow country so but we okay we stayed with the magnetic and uh, we hope that everything will be very interesting and very nice and so we did any without any slogan uh, without any motto and we understood that it is also nice and that we can do like that if we have this national stance if we have this visits of president uh, they should have something uniform something uniting and so lots of in tourism the, uh, the Mr. Ask, making a question here, so he asked a question. Uh, he also said that uh, during conference, uh, tourism best in jail slowly, that is not working at all. They also took this magnetic Latvia, and this is better, actually. And then also we, we have very many things which are b good for Latvia. For instance, in Japan, here it is uh, in uh, in Japan and it works perfect uh, and Estonian fans said you, you need something unifying and uh, here we understood that we we really can have something like that and if it has a mark of quality at open source but you enable to take and transfer and improve and people are proud of that then it can turn into uh, common and uniting thing which is infectious in good sense that Estonians are identified with they like it and at a similar uh, stand in Cannes we at a cinema uh, festival uh, we had a booth uh, and we had the uh, we won the award uh, with the same design, but with the exemption of this magnetic Latvia added. And this is the thing we have applied uh, for in um, the incons. Of course, it is a small thing, but I would like to show several pictures how it can transformed and explored, expanded to national pavilions. Uh, for, and this is what we can offer to municipalities as marketing material. Of course, I could say, please take over. Let us uh, coordinate the font and the size of letters so that it would, could be quite uh, consecutive. But I think that uh, something very uh, magnetic Latvian connotations and associations in terminology we can, of course, discuss a lot. 
abroad, but we will not manage to do that here. But I have also spoken with uh, renowned uh, Latvians, and they say that magnetic Latvia is sometimes say that it is something from physics and fits to science and doesn't fit to tourism. But magnetic, at least in 40 languages of the world, mean irresistible magnetic attractive cute and so on there is no province type touch of course above in products we have played a lot with colors uh, in order we would have to choose among but it is in the background or in the foreground but i would like to conclude that we should really make and put a bold dot in order to finish all that chaotic search for identity. For instance, if Est would add a dot, and I presume that terminating and uh, objecting would be the right thing, but branding of Latte cannot be stopped because it's like chaotic activity by different stakeholders. And uh, if we are uh, earmarking the budget of the state budget for tourism, we had that chapter for um, Magnetic Latvia, we had excellent event in Ovos. Uh, organized by LIA, uh, Latvian Investment and uh, Development Agency, and youngsters, um, scientists, uh, Kashayevs, uh, the best uh, Kashayev uh, improved his karma before going in for uh, in politic, into politics, as the best quant quantum physic physician of Latvia and the world-renowned scientist, so that magnetic Latvia was well accepted by youngsters, both in regions, as you have seen. I cannot switch over back in different Latvian cities where Elia uh, incubators and tech parks are opened. We have those uh, brand souvenirs of the like Eindhoven, the citizens and uh, residents using and tattooing as a sign of Eindhoven. I think the slogans are exaggerated. We must not agree on a slogan. That is a simple mark of quality. We must we must use it for best quality and premium quality. You can identify yourself with, like, incredible India, like also showed and mentioned by Mr. Nelson. Cambrel is an excellent example that incredible, incredible India uh, fits for uh, IT specialists in Bangalore and for tourism as well. And slogan um, slogans fitting for specific industries do not usually help the country branding. Very good. Uh, thank you so much for the presentation. And I think now I would probably suggest that uh, we talk a little bit about, and I, I'm very interested about the, the creative process. Uh, maybe I talk with, uh, I ask Eric, um, can you explain what is behind this? How did this come about? What was the methodology that you applied? You Nobody's behind that. No? Nobody's behind that. You know, uh, you don't know what is English. English. There was a Davos, Davos forum, and uh, several years ago, Michael Dell, who is producing computers, turned to Michael, uh, um, Mark Zuckerberg and said, Mark, how do you create communities? And Zuckerberg looked at Michael Dell and said, Michael, you can't. You only can ride the wave which already exists and that you can capitalize on people's desires, on electricity that is all already in the air, and then you can make communities, then you can make movements. You can't just write in a brief that we want one movement, we want, we want one uh, social, I don't know, social platform, and that, that automatically happens. It cannot be done artific artificially. So I think our role in creating 
magnetic latte is, is uh, um, over, overrated. Um, what, what happened basically is that the, the term magnetic has already been in the air for some time and um, uh, I have been working on uh, Latvian country branding and Riga branding and several municipalities branding for a uh, big part of my creative life. Um, and there was always this, 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 this match whether it's, we are speaking about tourism and it's green, whether we are speaking about investments and it's, it's fast and efficient, whether we are speaking about pharmacy and it's all about talents and science. So there is sort of disbalance in, in, into that. And um, I found that when I heard Magnetic Latvia, it was something that joined together all the industries because if you are magnetic, something attracts you to this country. For tourists, it's one reason. For, for marrying a Latvian guy or woman, it's another reason. For uh, pharmacy or investment, that's the third reason. But what's common? Common is attraction, some reason which, which literally magnetizes you and attracts you to this country. And I found, I found that it's, it's very uniting. It's very uniting and it has some consistency Consistency is very, very fundamental word. Um, what we have the experience in Latvia, this Polaris Forum, sometimes could be easily described as bipolaris forum. We want investments, no, we don't want investments. The taxes are this high or taxes are that high. And consistency is one thing which, which, which we sometimes lacked. And um, mag by magnetic Latvia, I sort of, I felt this, this um, I felt the potential to speak to all the audiences, to attract all the people from different areas and to be continued for, I don't know, how many years. Thank you. So, so I have a question. So it's the objective is to attract its investment, its tourism, talent. So it's a uni brand, it's an umbrella brand for the country, correct? The, not exactly. You know, I do not want at the end again to provoke that kind of we have no system, but I do not want to become a liar and to say uh, for something which was born intuitively uh, that that was the idea from very beginning. We did it first for export, for exhibition stands, and it was totally different logo. And I would never recommend this uh, former logo to to do it as a that joint activity. Then we were speaking with uh, Ivar Rosenberg. Ivar Rosenberg is sitting uh, next to Jose. Is uh, head of an uh, organization called Latvian Institute. Latvian Institute, um, there, there is Swedish Institute, there are institutions in some other countries as well who are responsible for, um, Ivo, what for responsible are you? For united supervision of uh, properly using country's image, either participate on, in Expo of the World or not. How do we look like? What is the main message? And they are under Ministry of Foreign Affairs. So and uh, we kind of became more friendly and more close when we understood that there is, instead of a, a duty for her to invent, instead of magnetic, anything else, because just non-brand Latvia is non-brand Latvia. We cannot move for, uh, onwards. On the other hand, we didn't like this choice, again, in competition where everybody will vote in a democratic way, uh, which one is less ugly, because usually people do not pick up bold ideas. They just get united on something which doesn't make you nervous, where you are, not, doesn't irritate you. And so we understood, let us become bold, and we had this mandate. Now, in a way, it's even too late. Politicians are criticizing my kind of taking mandate ourselves. How do you dare to do that? And, and then, then I said, uh, the only thing we could do is to just take this uh, w word away, but uh, if we do national major exhibition with many hundred thousands investment to show Latvia, just to write Latvia and that's it. And this magnetic kind of uh, has as a background music certain connotation and also uh, quality. It is like, I, I do not dare to compare with incredible India, let's take like purity of New Zealand, pure. And country of purity of nature, they address this purity to working ethics. You, if, if you deal with New Zealanders, they're pure. You, you get what, you, what, what they claim. And uh, I think that is important. Mm -hmm. So in a way, this is becoming kind of a sales pitch to you, 
just take magnetic Latvia, but uh, uh, to uh, foreign experts here jump on it, criticize, but what you just said about Estonia is like, you know, you are talent, you are talent, obviously, you gave a brilliant suggestion, some pick up, some not, and, um, but if, if another talent two years later comes with some another crazy idea and just says that's even better, let's again change our direction and uh, jump on it and continue in a different way, I would resist. Mm -hmm. you know? I have two questions uh, here for the table and then I would like to ask the audience, and maybe the experts who are also here. Um, the first thing I would like to ask, then I'll ask you, it's a question about management, but I still want to ask because it launched this. I mean, I've seen a logo, isn't this just a logo? Just a logo? Well, I see. Isn't this just one more logo? Jose, you are really provocative and uh, <laughs> bad, bad guy. You clearly know how I dream about it when I go to sleep. I think it is important. <laughs> and you ask this bloody question, is it just nothing? Is it a shit? No, it is not just a logo. It is uh, something much more. It is uh, uh, the whole philosophy which is just... Uh, demonstrated through logo and we would like also those words magnetic Latvia to be used even without logo express charisma express uh, God's gift that we are a good country safe innovative open for tourists and I really think uh, it is uh, brilliant I'm afraid that if I push it too much then those people here will say no, it's Andris Ozol's logo, we need our own. So that's why, um, Nelson, when you said that sharing and just taking when you, when you wrote on this uh, handkerchief something and uh, back, I think we, I, I throw it in the crowd and just give me back improved, improved mm -hmm. version of it. One question for you. Uh, concerning management, so do you have a plan? What is the plan for implementation? What's behind the logo? What activities? How are you going to measure it? And how do you plan to implement it? Uh, first of all, I would like to start with the language uh, because mm -hmm. uh, I think that's very essential for every brand. Mm -hmm. So as we are 95% Latvian here, I think that we would need now to change Good. to Portuguese <laughs> so that you understand. But uh, no, no, I will mm -hmm. speak English because we started that and we agreed on that. But uh, I think that somebody said that uh, first thing for us to start every brand is creativity. Uh, no, I think that first thing to start anything in your life is love. And uh, here we are talking about magnetism, and that's part of physics, of the science of physics. Also, physics is part of love. And that's, I think, essential for every brand, and when you start to, to work with every brand. Because it's not just about structural thinking, it's not just about... Uh, what somebody is thinking on that or another country or issue, but it's how you talk to your own people first, because your own people will be the best ambassadors, as we saw in the uh, example of Estonia. Really, citizens are so important. As I'm coming from the field of communication, I think that really communication is essential. And uh, you really have to listen to people, not just pretend you're listening. And uh, that's uh, to start with. And then uh, uh, I think that brainstorming is very important so that uh, now we have uh, the uh, brand uh, proposal magnet, uh, Magnetic Latvia. And I think now we have to step further and really start to think on strategic communication, how we communicate when and how and to whom uh, our message. I'm really, really a great believer that we have a lot of magnetism here in Latvia and that we have a lot of potential really to find uh, what we can show, how country can be uh, a, a ma magnetic one. The one thing I want to stress here is that also we need realistic deeds behind. So when we are talking about Estonia, it's not, not just an idea, it's real uh, deeds of the government, it's real deeds of society. We also have our own deeds and let's be proud of them. Sometimes we are not being also modest here in Latvia, uh, we are sometimes not proud enough about how fantastic people we have. Uh, and what we have done already and what we have achieved and what plans for future we have. I 
find every day that our land is fantastic and mag magnetic one. Uh, but also, uh, I think that uh, to speak uh, uh, from a pragmatic point of view, uh, what we need now from now on is how we would retranslate that magnetic Latvia in every field, how we would uh, share it in regions of Latvia and uh, retranslate in, in regional kind of uh, realities and how we would use them, for example, also when Latvian Institute is making uh, communication releases or uh, Facebook news or tweets, how we would use stories from Liepāi, from uh, Dobele, from other cities here to show that. And uh, I think everybody is free. What I like is a freedom uh, that uh, you can really use that brand and you can freely find your own magnetism and to show it. Uh, so here I think that we really have to cooperate everybody together very strongly, both the regional partners as well as uh, NGOs, as well as the Latvian Institute, as well as, of course, LIA that uh, the idea is coming from, and uh, make our stories more heard of and more known. So I uh, see here a great potential, uh, but we have to do everything uh, needed uh, to, to boost that. Good. Um, I have two questions for the table and then I would like to ask the audience to ask questions. Uh, so I'd like to ask the table two things. Uh, one is what things do you think um, Latvia can do to become even more magnetic and align with this, this idea? And secondly is, how would you, uh, what would you recommend uh, to share uh, or so that the stakeholders would embrace this new uh, identity? And maybe one more point from yes. my side uh, regarding what you have also asked us now. Uh, I think that uh, it's, uh, I'm becoming sometimes bored when uh, every day trying to analyze the brands of other countries, of cities, etc so that we get uh, the same message, I'm the best, and I'm bored of that. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's really, uh, these egoistic messages doesn't prove that uh, some country has the freshest air. So yeah. if you are a neighboring country, of course, you will have the freshest air as well. Uh, but uh, so I am very fond of ideas, what we could share with other communities, with other countries, what's our knowledge that we are proud of and that we can give away to other communities and countries and in that way showing our strength. So I think also in that regard we can show that magnetic Latvia. Good. Thank you, Jose. I was just going to comment that uh, I think Jose hit the nail on the head when he asked about is this just a logo because I think in order for us to sit here and evaluate Magnetic Latvia, I think we need to stop thinking about it being a logo and start thinking about being a concept. So you made a good point about how are we going to move forward and communicate it. I think the question I have for the three of you or the four of you and everyone here today is, as they say in North America, so here's the idea, how do we roll it out? So how do we bring it to life? How do we roll it out? Full transparency, when Peter presented EST at the beginning of his presentation, full transparency, I didn't like it at the beginning. I thought it was too simple, it's just wordplay. It's not really a concept. But when he started to show me how he was rolling it out and how it got rolled out, to me, it was no longer just wordplay. It was actually a big idea and it was a concept. So when I look at Magnetic Latvia, personally, I like it. But what I want to see is how are we going to roll it out so that it's not just a logo in a trade show, what's the concept? And there were some great comments already from the first two panelists about the concept behind Magnetic. But I think moving forward, stop thinking about it as a logo because it's a gorgeous logo. What's the concept and how are you going to bring it to life so it has meaning? EST, by the end of the presentation, I fell in love with EST. He brought it to life and it had meaning. So the only, Jose, to your question, I would just say I think we need to start thinking about how are we going to bring it to life 
and how are we going to roll it out. Behind a, 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 a metaphor and an abstract, really well done video, a great logo, trade show booth, I think we need to think more about the strategic communications you were talking about and how do we roll out the idea, not the logo, but the big idea. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Anyone else? Yeah, maybe I start. Then, uh, as, a, as, as about the concept and what we would like to achieve, uh, actually this conference should not end up with a magnetic Latvia. The idea was uh, to learn from you guys the way of thinking, because there were no perfect answers delivered, but perfect questions stated, of course. And the country should benefit, and we want to be uh, more visible, to, to be associated with something. And if you, for instance, now, even now, where this concept of uh, magnetic Latvia has been wor working for more than three years on a small scale for trade uh, missions, uh, national... Soft, soft launch. Soft launch. But, uh, for instance, now we started to use it in a, uh, international events like Positivus Festival. We had a tent there where many Estonians come over. This is a song festival where we, have, where we had a large tent where thousands of them literally were participating in, in uh, networking and also some, some uh, even acti physical activities. Got the caps of Magnetic Latvia. Then we organized next event, Ainovus. Ainovus, it was Innovation Festival again, 4,000 people. And um, um, we made it uh, as a quality mark, yet. Not as a concept how you to advertise country, but if you want to belong to the club of checked quality, then you are magnetic. Only then you are magnetic. If you ask me how uh, big numbers no magnetic with in, in comparison with Est, where Peter was just a brilliant idea and good presenter, but I, I speak to Estonian, they have never heard of it, uh, majority. You know, this is like some who are maybe in social networks or whatsoever, if you would now count a number, who knows, a uh, magnetic launch of only half a year and the est of several years, I might imagine that Latvians just simply win by this unmature concept, which is not yet a concept, you know. And uh, uh, in that sense, my idea is also that um, uh, the quality mark will be more accepted by the people and will be distributed and user-generated content will help us much more than artificial push. And even if it doesn't, then this is a united outfit how our exhibition stands look like and that we have uh, not always absolutely different uh, fonts used, different uh, form and shape and the design of an uh, exhibition stand and how Latvia demonstrates itself either in uh, World Expo in United Arab Emirates or in the international exhibitions. And I would not prefer to mix kind of a quality mark and also a logo because I said in Latvia and before that I think there is exaggeration of uh, sense of logos. Do you know logo of Germany? You know logo of Italy? Okay, you can teach a parrot, Malaysia, truly Asia, if you invest hundreds of millions, parrot will repeat the same slogan. Does it increase any tourism traffic to Malaysia? Or you just taught them this? Uh, the, uh, and I really think that we have much more um, homework to be done in order to have rights to use this quality mark. I yesterday arrived uh, with my prime min uh, deputy prime minister from Israel, and my luggage just didn't arrive in, uh, in Riga, and that's welcome to Latvia, how nice, and they just lost this damn luggage. And then they said, we call you next day, and I'm, I don't claim we are kind of VIP, but I say I have a lo lot of documents like I need for this presentation, call me, airport of Riga, uh, within a whole day cannot uh, call, and if you call them, then uh, 20 minutes nobody answers, and, uh, but this is welcome to Latvia, you know, I, I think we need first to do our homework and then claim how good we are, and this is kind of in a parallel. I just, just one more question about the engagement, and then I would like to ask the audience what do they need to embrace the idea and the questions that they may have concerning this, this strategy. So does anyone want to comment on anything, especially on the stakeholder engagement? or you want to pass through the, the audience? Five, four, three, two. <laughs> I don't know, the only thing, sorry, I would like to add is, okay, if it's a logo or, or, or a concept, uh, I think you really should look, uh, what are you telling to whom? And so if Magnetic Latvia is for tourism, in my sense, it's a totally different uh, strategy than Magnetic Latvia towards investors or towards uh, technology community. Um, and you, you actually you see the same with Incredible India. It's kind of a common payoff. But nowadays they do campaigns. 
And I'm a strong believer in that, that you should do campaigns specific for use cases eh, that, that, that you invest in and that they can really uh, be different. Yes, our, in Eindhoven, our tourism campaign is totally different than our talent campaign. It's totally different than what we do in sports. Because we, we, but the style, the, the, the visual uh, analogy is very uh, the same. Yes, so I think if I look as a designer to, to the logo, um, I have doubts, yeah, to be honest, uh, and my doubt is very simple. I think you made the M and the L equally uh, important visually, but it's about the L. The, the magnetic part is in, in, the, in the subtitle yeah, is not in bold, and the Latvia is in bold. Yeah, so I think the, 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 you really get this Latvia in people's minds, and the magnetic is the quality. And the magnet is the binder, and I, and I really like the, the love example because, yes, now I understand the video after her explanation. Mm -hmm. And that's not good because you really, from the beginning, I would have sensed, okay, there's magnetism going on here in a forest, people dancing together. And that's what people would like to adhere to. So I think this, this magnetic idea, if you really, really make that come alive, eh, the, what is magnetism, what is attraction, what is connecting, I think that that's a really good way forward in for this uh, this identity. Yeah. Thank you for comments about campaigns. I agree, but uh, I also disagree that you cannot find a common denominator which which fits, and then campaigns add value and not contradict each other. And, uh, Do you have budget for the next five years? Uh, the the most funny story is uh, for Magnetic Latvia yeah. launch of Magnetic Latvia. We have zero. We have not only now zero budget, but we have had zero budget from very beginning. We have budget for national exhibitions. We have budget for international events. We have budget for innovation festivals. And through that, uh, the only what we do at the moment with this magnetic concept is we get the form how we communicate uh, and not absolutely united, but uh, already kind of organized and versus non-organized and just to, to uh, get uh, smart suggestions, make this letter bigger or this letter smaller, doesn't work because then we lose uh, kind of, because there is a hell of work uh, behind it and if just we will to next conference make M bigger because somebody suggested, then we fail with our identity. We will not do that. I think, but and now, would you like to ask the uh, audience uh, specific uh, uh, questions? Right. Um, may I? Uh, I think there are no different strategies. There is one single strategy that if you translate magnetic force from physics to human nature, it's all about attraction. It's all about reasons why I go there, why I stay there, why I invest there, why I make friends there, why this country attracts me. Next, uh, all, the other, all the other sectors is just, just appliance of tools. For investors, there is one reason. For tourists, there is another reason. But it's not a different strategy. It's, it's one single strategy, which I, which I, firmly, which I firmly believe. That's, the, uh, uh, that, that's, that's what I think. Okay. Um, no, I would like to ask the audience, like, what do they see? How will they engage? And what do they need to clarify in order to, because we have a lot of municipalities here. We have uh, the ambassadors. And without their support, the brand loses its strength. So it's a common, uh, it's public property, if I would say, uh, and it has to be taken care of the same way that you take care of a road, the same way they take care of a statue. Uh, but the brand is something so intangible that normally people tend to destroy it in a way. So I think it's... If I may encourage in Latvian, it's this I'm giving Jose was the other provocative. Jose had a rather provocative question. I would like to uh, repeat this in Latvian, but uh, n do not over exaggerate this, just uh, saving Latvia. In Lia, we use this, we will use this, and this is just offer for public, and we will use it more and more. And uh, you can uh, take it if you like it. If you do not like it, we can uh, adjust it or adapt it. But it doesn't mean that we will remake this uh, each second day, and we will not uh, so make these letters bigger or smaller every second day. So we have to be uh, united on this. And the question is, is there uh, something uh, uh, s nice for this? Uh, do you think this is only related to physics, or uh, how, how do you feel about it? So we have 
Laura from company Visma, and I have a question about this. Uh, at one point, you said that uh, we are uh, you, we are welcome to take it, and then you said that this uh, could be a quality brand, and so somebody will check it, or which company has the right to use it, or so I do not understand how does it go hand in hand. So one is who will be the controlling institution and who will be using this. So yeah, yeah, I was not very precise in my utterances. When we talked to uh, colleagues, one of the logos was like a graffiti. You can put it on T-shirt, and we were laughing that uh, if youngsters in the station already will 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 write magnetic Latvia, we will just smile and will let them uh, write that. But uh, so uh, the very logotype we should use as it is. So we need like a style book. Uh, so it be, it has to be like it is made. So you can uh, identify with uh, Latvian states. That's okay. That is the. Uh, the, for instance, victory, uh, this uh, knives so, or or Swiss uh, luggages, which we know with the Swiss uh, flag. So uh, it is not your duty to use this, and it is not so that Latvia will look like this, but we just would like to have this uh, logo as uniting. And the conference was not about this. This is just a, like a public opinion poll, uh, but uh, Conference really is about municipalities, about branding, uh, country. This is like a message. A message is never a logotype. And I already mentioned countries which do not have these logotypes. And actually, they don't concentrate on this uh, aspect. So this is important to remember. This will not be this safeguard or uh, for safety of Latvia. So we have to be competitive as a country. I have Sandra Zarinja from uh, company Almex. Uh, I like this magnetic, in, and so we can. Um, the only thing is, I would like to hear your comment about this concept. We can make this all into negative, uh, actually. So investments disappear. So uh, roads are being uh, renovated. They are poor, and so this magnetic becomes with uh, negative in negative sense. So we can also be rather uh, ironizing or uh, be ironic about uh, Estonians. You also the, the dumbest, the slowest, the stupidest. You can use also the, but don't use that, as you know. Uh, so always you will be able to find something in magnetic. Magnetic is not only uh, magnetic in uh, making one uh, each to other closer. It's also making uh, each other separate from and. Uh, and so it is uh, rejecting. So why, why not attractive Latvian? Because it's only in, in English. But uh, magnetic, it is uh, from Latin, and it is uh, in many, many countries. There are at least uh, 40 languages is magnetic, is magnetic. And Latvia is attractive, it is magnetic. Uh, we had to, to speak about the immigration plan, and I t uh, told Mrs. Straum that uh, this country, anyway, is magnetic, and also these people are coming back from abroad. Uh, a magnetic mag magnet is also something very interesting and rather mystic. So it is like with uh, with your uh, belief uh, so that you do not need anything rational behind uh, behind this. So we will not have real rational basis. So Riga is never ready, as you know. So it, we will never ever have it ready. So we are proud of Riga, and already today we are, we can be proud about this country, this city. And so I would say it is attractive uh, country, but we need to say it in the international way. This is a magnetic way. And so if somebody would uh, propose something better, then we could change. But now we are uh, using this word, so we have to work. Uh, so just a short comment. Of course, we have uh, another government already, new government after Ms. Straujima, but uh, it seems to me that uh, globally, more and more uh, people really evaluate you as being honest. And uh, magnetic is with positive sign and also negative sign. And this is also how you perceive or how you present this. This is not a ready answer, but this is my reaction towards what you said. If I say yes, every day I face some difficulties, 
But uh, towards the end of the day, I come over that, and I just continue my work. I prove that I'm creative person, that I'm creative business person, that uh, I have power of will, and I do this. I complete and just come and see what is done, and I invite others uh, to see this, and also I can be realistic and true in my story, in the meaning uh, that uh, others maybe come and learn something from this. Uh, uh, I think that uh, today in uh, slogans of different countries, they are very sweet, uh, but you really want to know the real situation. And also the Institute of Latin Institute uh, and Facebook, uh, they share, we share real stories from Latvia, real stories from businesses and from uh, people and really we see that people comment among these some for instance uh, I put the uh, bakers as it was 35,000 uh, followers uh, uh, who had uh, watched the video and also from Australia they suggested so you so uh, they are just recommendation for a person in Australia to get acquainted with that person in I put uh, how they are working uh, and so we show our people, of course, we have difficulties in daily life in every country, uh, but sometimes this honest stories, uh, sometimes this honest attitude uh, also have, uh, has really positive attitude and a positive result. Okay, one more, and then I have last closing remarks. Yes. We've extended a little bit. Hi there. Uh, my name is Carlos. I'm the head of communications of a tiny municipality here in Latvia. Uh, and I had a question specifically for you, Mr. Torres. Uh, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I saw you first, I think it was two or three years ago, on top of the National Library. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you said that, you, you, rather, you proposed that Latvia position itself as an innovation hub. Uh, considering the things that we've been through the last 10 years or so, the, the way we have adapted and everything, the way we have landed on, on our feet, uh, that we could be the innovations hub for Europe. And my question to you is, if you're being brutally honest, do you think this pitch uh, with the logo, an pitch, adjective, pitch. and a country name is innovative? Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, I did not see that coming. Um, well, the presentation I gave is somehow, I mean, it was a proof, it was a concept for, for discussion, and it was about prototyping. It was about a place where you can test things out in the country. It was a country that could attract uh, several uh, ways of thinking, several different ways of uh, engineering, because a long story. I mean, it's 30 minutes to explain and not going to hear. I don't think this is far off. I mean, the, the, what, what's behind it. Um, I think what's innovative, what could be innovative, uh, is the rollout, as Nelson very well said, of the strategy forward of what is that they want to do. Um, and for that, you need to have the plan. That's why I was asking about, do you have the budget? Because otherwise, it will stay as a nice idea, but if it doesn't have rollout, it does not have a team, it does not have the endurance, if the policymakers are not embracing this idea, if you are not embracing the idea, then it could have the most brilliant, the most innovative, and, and it will fade away. So that's if, if I may add, because you are from Portugal, and I was following also Portugal's branding, and one of the, Don't get me started there. Please. No, but one, <laughs> one, one example about uh, is there a contradiction or not? Because everybody wants now to know, does he feel comfortable or now he's squeezed between what he said before and what he's saying now? But, uh, the best is still to face the problem and also to answer a straightforward question. But yeah, you, Peter, mentioned that campaigns are good regardless of the logo and you believe in campaigns. But I believe in coordination of campaigns and that's the role of Latvian Institute. And I give an example. In Portugal, two ministries were totally wasting money. One was advertising that Portugal has been not touched almost by civilization, and they catch lobsters and fishes like in ancient times, and this is organic and the best, and the kind of no IT in the country has been spoiling that. And another ministry responsible for hardware and software development said, we are long away already, not anymore authentic in that rubbish. We are modern, innovative, and good country. Both ministries spent each 10 millions, and at the end you are totally confused. One says, we are 
white, another says we are black, and nobody understands what color are you. And I really think that um, uh, to coordinate that, what we say is important. And, and this, qu this kind of a statement that you always should, should choose, what, whom do you lo love or like more, father or mom, is artificial and evil question you should not, uh, it shouldn't be asked. That there, you can come with a statement of general concept of quality, and when, within that concept of uh, general uh, concept of quality, you can deviate and do very specific campaigns. You cannot escape campaigns. You cannot advertise only country as such. But if you have a problem advertising your campaign with your country's identity, okay. then something is wrong with identity and not with your campaign. And okay. Incredible India is a good example. If you advertise Incredible India for tourism and programmers in Bangalore are being proud part of Incredible India, we are so incredible programmers and, and sophistication is very great there, that's a win-win situation. And if, if you just uh, ruin like Latvia, best enjoyed slowly, and we say, no, we are not slowly in another advertisement, then they say, guys, g get clear, are you slow or not? What, what is your main message? So. What? Would you like to comment on everything yeah, that is going we on? We could easily <laughs> franchise the uh, magnetic Latvia to magnetic Portugal uh, because Portugal could be magnetic because of lobsters as well as it could be magnetic because of IT startups. Okay, I have nothing to do with that. Leave me alone. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think what's really important is, is to endure this. Like I said, it's controversial, it's food for thought, there's discussion and everything. And what's important is to move forward. And I think, actually, I comment on this on Latvia. Latvia, most of the times, gets stuck with it. It's too critical. I mean, Latvians are probably, the, if I could put as a central idea, because I critical Latvians. It's like, it's like everyone always criticizes everything. <laughs> what, yeah. what you have, I mean, it's always like that. It's like you have the best, and then you criticize if it's the best, and how it was analyzed, then it's not the best. I mean, it's... Yeah. It's, uh, so, what I really think is important is to endure and to continue. And you should, and I encourage you, to uh, email uh, both Andris and, and Iva. Uh, I'm going to give you their emails, and most of you probably have them, which is andris.ozols at lia.gov.lv uh, and iva.rosenberger at li, from Latvian Institute, dot lv. And ask the questions and ask everything that you want, but I think it has to be from a constructive point of view and not from a destructive point of view like also Nelson was creating, talking about the destructive power of, oh, I've, no, it doesn't work, I've done that before, and so on. Let's scratch that. And, and, and I encourage you to do that. I think the, we can close the, the session. Uh, um, I think that uh, I think it was very productive. I think what's important is the kickstart. It got got the ball rolling, and thank you very much for everything and for everyone. You one like more it. Huh? I can add. You one can more add. Second. You can add. I'm not competing with you who is going <laughs> close. Uh, no, but I, I wanted to express from here not only later on individual personal thanks to uh, all the distinguished speakers. I really think that this last session. Uh, zooming maybe too much in one specific subject should not distract us from the main theme of today. And uh, you brought a major value. And you were so different and uh, supplementing each other. So uh, from the message and from examples and also inspiring. And uh, also uh, thank you all. And exactly. special thanks goes to Jose, who actually knows about Latvia much more than he expressed here today because we were asking him not to dominate. Otherwise, uh, he would be bad moderator but he was a good one and thank you for everyone participating thank here. you thank you very much